in my hike today, I got to thinking about when I was in college and one of my most favorite shows growing up as a kid and certainly in my college years was Star Trek. And I'm sure all of you remember Star Trek and how exciting it was. And I used to love that show. And you remember, you know, it was so futuristic. And one of the things I loved about it, because I was going to college, I was at UCA getting my undergraduate studies. And I remember, you know, Dr. McCoy. And at that time, I already knew I was gonna be a chiropractor. I was gonna, you know, go into the healing arts. But I loved, you know, Dr. McCoy on the show. And I loved the way, you know, they depicted medicine in the future. You know, it was always so, so, so modernistic, so scientific. And, you know, Dr. McCoy had his little scanner thing and he would go across the body and it would give a diagnosis. And then when it came time for treatment, they might, you know, inject some sort of miracle drug into the, to the body, or they might again, just take a scanner and go over the body and it would heal the body and and everything would be okay and and you know that's just such a nice fantasy to have and of course it was science fiction and we know that's not realistic but but I got to thinking about how true some of that has become for us today in our modern, in our modern our medical courses. system you know in the old Star Trek series you know, when you think about it they were they were in space in the void and vacuum of space and they were in a spaceship in a metal spaceship surrounded by technology they barely touched the patient, barely had any human interaction or any contact with the patient. It was very cold, it was very sterile, and it was very, really devoid of life. Well, look at what we have today for healthcare in this country. In many ways, it's very similar, especially this year in this year of a pandemic, you know, right or wrong, but we've certainly seen an isolation of patients. The patients have been more isolated than ever in hospitals, in nursing homes. We're certainly seeing that. We're also seeing the, the technology where, you know, so many are putting their faith in the technology that, that science seems to bring us. That it's going to bring some sort of miraculous cure. But the fact is, and what I realize being out here today and just being in this nature and walking on this trail is, you know, that's not who we are as human beings. You know, we are not cold and lifeless and, and, and sterile. We are, we are warm and passionate and, we're, and we're, we're, we're full of germs and bugs and we're full of spirit. And you know, humanity and humankind and the human body is much more closely connected to the nature that's all around us than it is to all that science that you find in these wonderful hospitals and, and, and in universities. And you know, and I don't want to deny the, the, the wonder that is there. I mean, I certainly have been, you know, helped tremendously in my, my lifetime with, you know, with modern medicine and, you know, when I've needed it. I guess my point is, we need to have a realistic expectation of what science can do for us. You know, and I believe that science can only take us so far when it comes to healing in the body. Science can only tell us so much, can only give us so much in, uh, information. And I believe that true healing, the gift of a true healer begins where the science ends. <laughs>